Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, I recently made a trip to Watertown. I went in Dick's Sporting Goods. I love to go into that store and just look at things. And I was talking to, I think he's the manager of the fishing area. And I said to him, okay, I said, listen, I've got to go on the radio tomorrow. What can you tell me? What has people been saying as they come in here? Are they telling you about fishing that's going on? He said, well, truthfully, most fishermen are pretty secretive. They basically don't want to share the things that brings them success because they figure if more people do it, then maybe it won't be as successful. So he says, but what I can tell you about is what I do. And apparently he's an avid fly fisherman. And he says, he said, I have even got smallmouth over seven pounds fishing with flies. And I said, where, where are you going? He said, St. Lawrence River. And this is what I wanted to share with all of you. Here's what really is important about that. How do you go out in a river that is deep, has fast current, crystal clear water, a place where the pros come and they have to learn how to use drop shots and be able to fish this current in the proper way. And yet he's going out with a fly rod and really catching some incredible smallmouth. How is he doing it? And how can you do it? It's just another thing that I thought I'd pass on. Here's what he's doing. He's using sinking fly lines. And apparently there's very, there's, there's a lot of different sinking fly lines with different sink rates. And depending on the day that you're fishing, how fast the current's moving, which is going to be determined by the wind and other factors, it will determine just which fly line you're going to choose because the key is you've got to get your offering down there where these bass are going to be. They're not going to come up to the surface if, if they're in 30 feet of water and they're, they're suspending or schooling just off the bottom. So he's got to be able to get down to them. And he's able to do this by using the right type of sinking fly line that, that can go down that far and then a short liter of floral carbon. And he says, I use a pretty big streamer. So I'm thinking, okay, what streamers would you use? You obviously aren't going to try to duplicate a dry fly. You're going to try to duplicate something those fish are used to feeding on, which, which is either going to be something like a goby, a perch, a crayfish. I mean, there's lots of different ways you can go, but the secret is to have the right looking bait, but that bait's got to be put in the right spot at the right depth. And this is how you, if you love to fish flies, you could actually start getting some of these monster smallmouth. And I got to tell you, catching a big smallmouth on a fly rod must be really something. I've caught them in the Grass River, but not these really big monsters that are part of the St. Lawrence River. But, you know, this is another example of how we can take what we do best. In, in this case, he's a fly fisherman and apply it to different cases. As long as you can think and, and sort of create your own way of doing this, that's going to work for you. And I think this is fascinating. And I got to tell you, it's just another thought that maybe someday I can duplicate. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.